Not too long ago, I was a Valorant player, running around shooting lasers out my fingers, throwing up firewalls, and teleporting around. I mean, I did used to enjoy this, somehow. I've now found myself enjoying Counter-Strike more than Valorant, and I thought it'd be fun to retouch on an old video I made and try to see the games from both perspectives. Think of me as the middleman between Counter-Strike and Valorant, since they both hate each other so much. Uh, Shindo Val, thank you for the uh, 1000 bits. Hey, everyone, I'm a Valorant player. I'm not gonna read the rest, buddy. It is what it is. Sorry. And if you're wanting to make the switch from Valorant to CS:GO, similar to me, or just want a way to get better at CS:GO, then look no further than the sponsor of today's video, Leadify. With Leadify, you can track your CS:GO matches and stats for free. Leadify helps track your performance and stats in a very detailed way, even showing your recoil control and how good you are at aiming. After each CS:GO match, Leadify's Steam bot will message you a match page filled with all your statistics, achievements, and highlight clips that you can show off. Leadify also lets you compare your stats with your friends with their Leadify profiles and club pages. And don't think you have to download a sketchy program that runs in the background because Leadify can do all this just by connecting your Steam account. There are so many things that Leadify can offer to help you become a better player at CSGO and that's why I highly recommend it. It's helped me get a lot better at the game and I know it could help you too. So check out Leadify using my link in the description below. CSGO was really the only game I'd play around 2015 or so. One day while playing with some friends, we decided to do an op tournament, and my 14 year old self thought it'd be pretty funny if I downloaded some front page of Google hacks and try and destroy them in the tourney. Now I'm pretty sure any smart person knows that is a horrible idea, because private matches are vac secured. Even offline matches with bots are vac secured. Let's just say I didn't ever play CSGO much after that. Jump forward about 7 years and I start playing Valorant. The game scratched that itch that I used to enjoy from CSGO, but it never fulfilled it. I honestly didn't even know why I enjoyed it. but it wasn't until I decided to make a video comparing Valorant to CSGO, I once again realized that Counter-Strike is way more enjoyable. So let's go over some things from that video and compare them to my opinion now. Let's start with the community real quick. Now my opinion before was that CSGO was way more toxic than Valorant, and while that's somewhat true, it's also really not. He's about to lose to a fucking furry, dude. You're about to- a fucking anime versus a furry right now. Who y'all think's gonna win? SHUT THE FUCK UP! I didn't realize that the toxic lobbies I had been experiencing in CSGO were because of my bad trust factor. Trust factor is pretty much a way to determine what type of lobbies a player should be experiencing depending on how many times they've been reported or how new their account is. Pretty much if you have a bad trust factor, you'll get put in bad toxic lobbies. Meanwhile, if you have a good trust factor, you don't meet too many people like that. You'll actually meet cool, chill people. As for the Valorant community, I haven't really been involved in it anymore, but from what I've seen, the community is getting worse. The content as well has really stayed the same. The kill you get, I'll give you an ara -ara. And from what I said in my previous video, I definitely still think CSGO content is superior. If anything, it's getting better. But to be honest, I never really fit the demographic of Valorant to begin with, so I could see why some people would never want to make the switch to CSGO. And if toxicity bothers you, you could just as easily do voice underscore enable zero or play with some friends. I mean, Valorant definitely has some toxicity as well, but where's the fun without some of that? Hello team! Hey, what's up, Shut your bitch ass up. Oh, okay. okay. Trying to have some up, fun team? here, man. I get bullied in every game I play. Nah, 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 chill, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I'm just gonna kill my- I just can't really compare the communities here just because how different they are. Valorant's art style and CSGO's art styles are just completely different, so it's gonna attract different people. Some of those people will never make the switch because of that alone, which I think is fair. In a perfect world, I think we should get along, but it's probably not gonna happen. I think it's just the console wars all over again. Now, moving on to my opinions about skins. <laughs> I said that Valorant skins were better than CS skins. Most elephant in incoming, by the way. No shot, he just said Valorant skins are- I can't even- tell apart like what's the, what the fuck is a skin and what is not i'll try to explain why i said that if you're just looking at the aesthetics or whatnot the skins in valorant are way different than counter-strike i think all counter-strike players should be able to agree that this skin in valorant has objectively more to offer than this skin in counter-strike <laughs> now that's only if you look at it face value if you compare the time and the effort the animations and the different variants it does seem like it would offer more but just because a skin in valorant looks cool and has different animations doesn't make it better i'm really trying to explain things here for a valorant player to understand because before I got involved in CS skins, I thought that Valorant skins were better too. Now I know it sounds a bit cliche, but it's really just judging a book by its cover. Yeah, Counter-Strike skins may seem boring compared to Valorant ones, but if you don't actually know anything about Counter-Strike, including multiple patterns and float values, limited quantities, and so much more that would take up a whole video, it does kind of make sense why a Valorant player would think it's better than CS skins. But the more I learned, the more I realized how wrong I was.
was. I can't even begin to try to explain CS skins compared to Valorant, or try to make a Valorant player understand it. In going back to Valorant and playing it, the skins almost seem too distracting, and because they're not unique compared to Counter-Strike, it almost makes them more boring. I mean, most people in Valorant only use the popular skins, or people just shit on them about it. So all you do is see the same skins every damn game. The most popular skins are Prime, Reaver, Oni, Spectrum, or any skins that have cool animations. The only thing that differs from skins in Valorant are these different variants you can buy for a skin, but some of them just look like complete shit and nobody uses them. So if me and my friends both buy the same bundle, they're gonna get boring quick. I mean, I guess you could put gun buddies on them too, but like, come on. The Valorant store also sucks ass how it's randomized every 24 hours, so if I want a skin, it may take days for it to show up in my shop, or hell, even weeks. Also, Valorant does not have a marketplace which immediately makes buying skins seem pointless to me. I mean, other than just playing the game and wanting cool skins, that's about it. I definitely regret all the skins I bought in Valorant that I could have spent on Counter-Strike and made actual money from it as well, but we live and we learn. I think my take on skins in the video was probably the worst received part by the Counter-Strike community, but I don't really blame them. Dude, wrap it up, man. Please, this guy needs to wrap it up here. There's no way he keeps talking for one and a half minutes for about skins. Please stop. Now, onto the thing I think I had the worst take on in the whole video, the gameplay. I could not have been more wrong comparing gameplay from Counter-Strike to Valorant. Going back to Valorant for a bit made me realize how much of a crutch abilities are. No one would be good in this game if it wasn't for them. Yeah, that's the whole point of the game, but it just irritates me how little gunplay is actually involved. Even if you're good at shooting in Valorant, if you're bad at the abilities or countering them, you're not going to be good at the game. I almost feel like most Valorant players would be really good at CSGO if they only relied on gunplay in some games sense. The fact that CSGO is so simple makes it more fun. People have to adapt their playstyles for different people, learn new smoke lineups, new wall bangs, or just so many things you wouldn't even think about. Valorant on the other hand, I always just used my abilities in my hours of playtime. I never really learned anything to be honest, and Valorant just seems like they're adding abilities and agents with no thought. Kind of similar to Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six used to be tactical, and the operators being added felt like they were meant to be in the game. Meanwhile now, when a projectile lands, it deploys a canister onto the floor. The canister opens up and bees. Valorant has had an expiration date on it ever since they made the game about abilities. Only so many things can be added before it gets annoying or repetitive. Meanwhile in Counter-Strike, the only thing that changes are new things being learned or maybe metas for a bit. I don't miss abilities at all from Valorant and I would much rather play a game that relies more on skill than some ability crutch or ultimate. And Valorant is just really overwhelming. I was kind of used to it at one point, but going back to it now, it just seems like overkill and I just can't enjoy it. And for pro tournaments, like this is horrible to watch. What the fuck? CSGO is just simple to the point where it's good. Another thing, gunplay in Valorant is really bad. The recoil reset is much longer compared to CS, there's randomized recoil patterns, and the bullets feel less impactful, which is funny because that's the exact opposite thing I said in my original video. I also said that there were no tracers in Counter-Strike, which was kind of stupid because there is. They're just much harder to see than Valorant, but I kind of like that it's not so distracting. Also, the small things in CS matter. You can't not think team killing would at least be funny to add to Valorant. Sorry, bro, sorry, 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 sorry. Or vote kicking. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna lead more towards the game I play more gameplay wise, and I can definitely see how some people would enjoy Valorant's gameplay, but it's just not for me. And it definitely can't be compared to CSGO. I know I talked about abilities for most of this, but that's the whole game. Of course, they can't change it, and some people are gonna enjoy it, but I don't. I'm also gonna go ahead and talk about theme because I feel like that's something that needs to be talked about. Obviously, we got Counter Strike being somewhat of a gritty shooter, especially when the game first came out. Most skins they added looked like actual camouflage you'd see on guns. But even the skins now are not as bold as Valorant's. Valorant is definitely trying to appeal for the more anime uh -huh. enjoyers. I'm not going to make a statement on which is better, but I just wanted to put this out there for some people to consider. Some people will play Counter-Strike for the more realistic feeling, while some people will play Valorant for the more stylistic art style. I also think Valorant's style helps other players come to it that would never be interested in Counter-Strike, so I think that's fair. To wrap things up, I'm going to keep it a lot less neutral than I did in my original video, but hey, maybe you'll like it. But moral of the story, enjoy what you enjoy. No, enjoy Valorant. CSGO and fuck Valorant. I definitely enjoy CSGO more than Valorant, but if you enjoy Valorant, then I think that's okay. I also understand why the communities hate on each other, and this will most likely be my last video about it. It was kind of a chore to have to go back and play Valorant for the footage for this video. Anyways, make sure to subscribe and like the video, and if you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a comment why, and I'll try to do better next time.